Welcome! In front of me is an Honor 200 Pro and today I will show you how you can record a screen on this device. To get started, pull down your notifications by swiping down from the top right side of your screen like so and then swipe down right here again to extend the list of toggles and one of those toggles will be a screen recorder. Once you see it, you can just simply tap on it, allow access to whatever it wants, click on OK. And there we go. It's uh, automatically going to be recording even under that like um, pop-ups right there, I think. So anything you do right now once it's recording will be obviously recorded, uh, but there is a limitation. So if I open up something like Netflix, which I'm gonna demonstrate as this application comes pre-installed with a device, and it's a very nice thing to showcase uh, where applications just think that they have a little bit too much control. Um, like this is a just rapey kind of uh, behavior of an application that can just literally control your phone in this case. Now keep in mind I am not logged in so therefore I haven't agreed to any terms of service. I don't even have an actual Netflix account. I'm just opening this application as a showcase and as a just kind of uh, show that this is kind of going beyond what the application in my opinion should be able to do. Now, in any case, it also gives me some garbage pop-up, which doesn't make any kind of uh, difference. I'm going to reject it because go screw yourself. And there we go. We have a bunch of content, which you can see right here on the camera. So there we go. Now, I'm going to close this now. And also, I'm going to stop the recording. Now, the reason I'm kind of being so aggressive towards this dog shit is because now that we're going to go to playback our uh, screen recording, which we can do by opening up photos or gallery, whatever we, ha whatever we have right here, which is this application right here. can see it under today or you should also be able to find it under albums and screenshots and videos. So there we go. And it's going to be automatically playing. Now, uh, typically you will obviously be able to record most of the applications, but what you are about to see is a feature of Android that you have no control over. If an application decides that it wants to use it, then that's it. You have nothing to say to it uh, and it will be used and there is no option for you to turn off. And there we go, that's Netflix fully open, by the way, without me uh, logging in nor agreeing to their bullshit that showed up. So I didn't give this shit application any permission whatsoever to do anything. Neither did, neither can they claim that, oh, it's, our, it's in our terms of use. I haven't agreed to them, so they'll just go F yourself here. So there we go. Uh, by the way, it's still playing. And this was uh, when I was also scrolling down through it. So yeah, nothing will be visible on the screen recording. Now, this is done for privacy and security of the user. And most typically you will find this kind of feature used in bank applications. As though try to, uh, those applications try to protect the user from, uh, for instance, malware that might want to see what kind of pins you're putting into your bank applications. And you can probably imagine how that would be very useful to you. But in an application like Netflix, where no user data is being protected, only the Netflix's uh, corporate agenda, uh, I find that to be a massive breach of, well, your personal device, I would say, as you have nothing to that you can change to well, change the setting. So yeah, just kind of wanted to point that out. For the most part, you still will be able to record 90%, 99% of applications, most likely. Uh, so there's just a handful of them that we'll be using. And for the most part, those are the streaming platforms. Now, anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to smash like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.